So we're down here at the Big Flag, Riverside Drive, Windsor, Ontario. And this concerned parent here, you just said something very, very nice about uh, the teachings. Exactly. And I, I stand with you today. I stand with you tomorrow. And that's right. And this is a great country, and we have the right for peaceful protests. And I, I, that's what I see here today. Exactly. This is a big show up today at 9 o'clock a.m. I'm very surprised in this city, Windsor, because we've had many protests. But this one's going to be a big one. Let's take a walk. Thank you. So check this out. Now, I'm not against the gay community at all. I got family members that are gay, and I love them to death. What I am against is about bringing it into the schools to teach kids. Leave it alone, really. You're making a big deal, and it's going to get it turn into a really big deal. Leave that to the parents. Yes, sexual orientation is not sex ed. We have Anastine and her husband, Brian, here. Good morning. So what do you think of this, Anastine? I think this is great. I think it's a good turnout, and I think they need to start leaving the sexual orientation out of these schools. As sexual orientation is not sex ed. Liberal ideology. Now, I heard there's supposed to be a bunch of counter-protesters down here. I highly doubt it. The unions against this, this is what I'm hearing. I highly doubt that. Maybe the union administrators are. But the membership. What's going on? How are you, big fella? So great turnout. Can you put my car on the counter? I'll hold it for you. Sure, right there. So a lot of people are not sending their kids to school today. And that's the way of protest. And here's the counter protesters over here. We got it. So we got about, I could count them, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, about twenty counter protesters. So a small minority is trying to call the shots on what's being educated in schools. Oh, my lens looks foggy. Does that look better? One second, I'll clean it off. Let's see. That's a little better. So we have a, a, a small, very small minority trying to call the shots on what's being taught in our schools today. And that's wrong. That's up to parents to teach their kids. So, we are here today 
express our feeling, to express our what we believe in. That this verse that I mentioned to you, it tells us clearly from single male and female. Tough guys. We will never be able to live without them. They are our life. Without them, we have no. I, I got family members that are gay, and I love them to death. Okay. You're okay. Hey, this is big. Okay. Who is the most one? Love the our children. Is the public school the teacher in the public school for our government? We are the ones we live for for them. So he's a this this fella came out. He's gay. Obviously, wherever right. The only thing I'm against is teaching it in schools. To teach English language and social studies. No, it hasn't. You don't get much other science here and there. But we are not there to teach our children faith. It's never happened. They are not in the school there to teach our children morality. Got nothing. Thank you. Every conservative speaker on a college campus, you this is the job and of our the father doesn't do that. Father we have our mother. rallies, and we I, I've been to gay pride festivals from Vancouver since 1990, no Toronto, Windsor. Windsor. I supported the gay pride. Ever. I don't know. Oh, no, no. I'm paying attention to you guys. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We say to and there's never been a problem with the right coming to the left at a gay pride fucking protesting and talking violence and shit. But you'll see it here, right? Government. And we say to the also local, the Board of Education of Windsor. Uh, you know what? 100%. As long as you keep it out of schools. Whoever made up this idea, liberal ideology, and bringing it into schools and... and you That's up to the parents. Plain and simple. For our children. Hey? The public school. Yeah. Right. You must provide security for them. How come our children, when they go so right to the school, they want to know what they are going to face. Gay fella that's on the right side. And then we got the left side over here. And he's telling them exactly what I, I've been saying all along. The hearts of our young ones. It's all right to be gay. To, even when they go to the I got family members that are gay and I love them. Plain and simple. I don't treat them any Why different from anybody else. It's a beautiful society. That it gives the government no right to what they want to do in schools and put it in the hands of teachers. Leave the kids alone. You filming me? I'm gonna film you. They are living among us. How are you, Mr. How are you? You staying out of trouble? Of course. We love them for that 
Except for when I went to Trudeau last week. Oh, you, London? Oh, yeah. I know you were down there. Oh, I went off like a fire. <laughs> You're lucky you didn't get arrested. I've seen the videos. <laughs> There's a lot of people from Windsor, Hamilton, Kitchener area too, eh? Showed up for that? Yeah. Uh, th all this has to do with Trudeau and his liberal ideology. He's dividing people that weren't divided before. Like... Would they like it if if the right showed up to a, a gay pride parade and started shit and hung signs like this? No, we don't do it. They don't do it. Nobody does it. Right. I get it. Yeah. I don't care if people are gay or lesbian or LGBTQ, WXYZ. I've lost count on the... That's right. And I think Pierre Elliott Trudeau said something upon that uh, line where what happens in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. He made that quote, right? But here we are, 2023. Unbelievable. It is. Is this guy a cop? <laughs> Undercover? Thank you, sir. Oh, I... Undercover? Watching? Nobody wants violence, period. No. I can't speak for the people behind me, but I can speak for these people. I knew that, and I've heard all kinds of shit coming up, leading up to this, that there was going to be an anti-protest and union members and all kinds of crazy stuff. I knew, I knew beforehand there would be no issues. Mouth of the salt, the man without a plan. How are you making out? Good, I finally found you. Looks like a good turnout, eh? Really, for 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Not bad. We're all here together, you know. We're all here together. <laughs> we got the drone. I got the drone. Bring the drone down to me. There we go. Am I losing weight? Ah, trying to. I'm on a soup diet. No soup for you. Everybody has a right to to freedom and, and to be safe. Yeah, I'm getting the footage. Now, I think everybody has a right in this country to be safe. Okay. And this is supposed to be a man. And most of all, I'd like to thank God for this unity, the freedom, and the beautiful day that we have. I'm not in school. I'm one of the greatest friends life has to offer. Children. So, on that note, this is great. Not that kids are out of school, especially not for the reasons why. But because we are here recognize that there is something more important than school attendance today. It is the health and well-being of children. Parents are the ones who set a good balance for the children to live in their lives. Kids are incapable of setting those boundaries themselves. That's why God gave them a dad and a mom. 
Leo Lusher, that's me. You follow me? Oh, look at that. He's following me, too. That's not the police drone. How do you, what do you think of this, uh, this melee down here today? The melee down here today. This is amazing. It's a good turnout for Windsor, Ontario. So this is going on in every city in the country right now. And Toronto's supposed to, they had the horses, they're bringing horses in from the United States. Not nah, down here, Toronto, yeah. Ottawa, the big cities. Yeah, the police. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. He's talking about identity. Identity. I identify as a judge, and uh, yeah, I, I identify as a judge. So I'm gonna sentence myself. I want to make sure this guy's all right over here. Hey, just just stand on stand on the right side over here. You want to be oh, on? I'm on the right side. More than men being women, it's the mask in public. What the hell is that about? But you know what? So some things are getting a little heated up. Parents and their allies are the ones who would be there. To pick up the pieces in the aftermath of the Sochi attacks on kids. So respect our authority and listen to us. Stay strong, kids. Awesome. They get it. When you have a gender revealing party, right? There's only two genders. Pink and blue. Hey, Adam and Adam and Adam. No, that's what the Bible says. That's what the Quran says, right? I, I thought you were standing back today. You couldn't stand back. I couldn't stand back. You just didn't bring me a coffee. <laughs> I'm lucky to get one. What a great turn. So I, I, I don't know which, if this guy's an instigator in the gray, sh in the green shirt. Yeah, I don't know. He's like doing a little bit of kooky things. Maybe there's something upstairs wrong with him. I'm he says he's on sure. the right side, but. I know. He and he's gay, cool. and he's gay, and he's starting shit with the transgenders. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't know he's what to make of it. One. Right, and he's the only one. You know what I mean? So you just got to keep an eye on him. You know? he, so, he might be the plant. He might be. Is he even on a live? I don't know. Go look behind him. Right, so we don't know. Because you always need an instigator. You always need... A match to light a fire. Lying to children about drugs and surgeries is not loving. Right, hopefully that is that's not the case here. There is no data to support such sick recklessness, but there are plenty of cases as reasons to say no to such destructive practices. Where is the justice when a local education system So you don't even have his camera on? I don't think so. So he's just pretending, I think. Yeah. I, I, when I pulled up, he just had it like... He doesn't have it even on a live. So he's 
this is what the left do, right? They'll put in a, a couple plants, and they're all buddies at the end of the day for somebody to He's start shit, and then and then shit happens, and guess what? The government comes in, the police come in. See, we told you it was violent, and it was the left all along starting the shit. So don't be fooled. I'm not. I've been to many protests in my life, and I'm going to be to many more. Hey, how are you? What do you think of this? I think we need a lot more. Hey, should be a lot more. I That's think all, we need a lot more. It's only 940. Come on down. There's a lot of people in Kitchener. I'm sure as that's where I was going to go, remember? So, so we'll see if mainstream media posts this. Rick's live right now. Rick is? Down here? No, he's live. He's protesting. Or like he's doing everybody. He's doing Dempsey. Oh, is he? Yeah. I didn't know if you were live on Facebook or if you're live on I'm YouTube. live on Facebook. <laughs> you guys got the day off school? Cool. Are you making out? So what do you think of this? Yeah, I don't think they should be teaching any of this crap in schools. Right. I hear it's coming. I hear that big disease is coming back where it killed billions and billions of people. <laughs> right? Well, they're all wearing, a lot of them wearing masks over there. Am I on YouTube? No, you're on Facebook Live. You guys are on Facebook Live. You're Facebook famous today. Are you? Oh, you're what? I can't take social media. You can't take social media? I know it's... Justin Trudeau will ruin this country. Well, to me, we're living in some kind of... It's the only way we can communicate now is with social media with Justin Trudeau putting in that bill. The censorship bill. I'm not on it. I'm here. Right. So you found out somehow. Yeah. Some of my groups. I'm in. Where's that? Ottawa? No, that's in uh, Kitchener. We were at the, the bridge there. I think you had us on camera there. The at, at the bridge? So you guys are already famous. Yeah. Where's Aaron? I took, I took her and she was holding the big flag. Nice. She said it was the greatest time ever. Nice. That was the greatest, the greatest time in your life? Better than Canada's Wonderland? Yeah, better. Oh, see. Oh, look at this horrible dad swearing. Yeah. Mother oh <laughs> telling my kid she can be a boy. Yeah. I think the swear is okay. Yeah. I, I don't believe in any of that. Oh, a bee? Nah, they don't. They don't bug me. Watch, I'll eat them. Men and women, everything else. Yeah, they're hungry for sugar right now. Yeah, they want. Be after his coffee. That's what they want. They want his Right. So we got an instigator. This guy has just been going on and on and on. He 
he claims to he claims to be gay. That's what he says. And he's against the trans. Right now. I did share your stream over to Rick. Who's that? I don't know. I don't know what he's got going on right now, but I'm assuming he's probably going through everybody. He's been criticized and said to stand against Well, he looks like one, too, eh? What, an instigator? Yeah, not that, too. He looks like on the other side, too. Maybe he appointed them. Yeah. So I'm going to take a walk. Me too. Trudeau must go. How are you doing? I'll stay home, social media, perhaps discuss privately at church, moving for intervention, or have a long phone call about how screwed up this world is. That's fine. A good rant is necessary to vent on occasion. And discussion, especially with prayer, is always appropriate and essential. However, at the end of each of those, we ought to sense a spurring to action. Yeah, buddy. Just like you, you are doing right now. Love God, love people. That greatest commandment summary requires action to help those in need. Like kids targeted by groomer, school board trustees, and administrators. As in Matthew 19, 14, but Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Our government, school boards, administrators, and dark side of the media are doing exactly what they ought to never do. They are working to hinder children from living a righteous life. Stand up and speak up, Windsor Essex, and all kid carrying people everywhere. We must be the voice of reason. Take what you know to be true at home, at church, or place of worship outside those walls to help transform a dangerous culture into one that loves kids and does not hinder their childhood with dark secrets being kept from their parents, but instead shields them from harm and nurtures a sound mind and a compassionate heart. This is the continuation of a strong start towards restoring rightful culture within our Canadian society. To all here locally and all Canadians, heads up and eyes forward. Let's charge this hill, which is the defense against the attack on our children's innocence and sexuality, and fight the good fight that God willing, when won, we will restore to our land the wonderful blessing it is when kids can just be kids. Yes. Trudeau must go. God bless you and God bless Canada. We'll see you out there. Leave out Canada! Trudeau must go. Thank you, Mr. Jeremy Coco, uh, for your words. Uh, again, I'm looking for Pastor Tobias. If you can make your way to the stage, Pastor Tobias. Um, again, no more secrets. It's time to let families do what they're supposed to do and raise their children without government overreach and for the rights to a family to live the way a family does. We're not saying another family can't live another way. That's between them and their family. We just want the rights to our family. It's so the biggest. Again, no more secrets. No, no more, more secrets. secrets. No more secrets. No more secrets. No more secrets! No more secrets! No more secrets! No more secrets! And I would just like to say uh, a word before Pastor DeBeas talks. Uh, Apostle Henry, for those that you don't know, uh, Apostle Henry Hildebrandt uh, 
He's from the Church of God in Elmer. Uh, Pastor Tobias is from the Church of God in Edmonton. But uh, Apostle Henry Hildebrandt heard about a story that happened on, uh, at Northwood Public School. And he made a video praising those children. And you know what? Those children were in grade six. And how dare a teacher in a French class, when they say you can opt out of this curriculum, how is your lifestyle or telling people that they're bigots your job in a French class? Your job in a That's French a nice class parade. is to teach French and leave your personal that, political I mean, beliefs out. That's which I the Armored Corps, eh? We don't want competing Wins a regiment. Everybody My brother's a Dragoon. Thank He's been there for much. 33 years oh, with the military. I had Tobias. I had a choice of uh, giving out, and I had children. I got married and had children. What rank did you make? Corporal. Corporal. That took a while, eh? Uh, it was only because I moved from Windsor out to Great Thunder that I got it. Oh, nice. Yeah, Windsor was empty, and I stepped out of the. Thank you for your service. I stepped out of the traditional behind the desk. Nice. True hero. One human family that God has created. And he has created them, like the Imam said so beautifully before. He has created them using Adam. So all this crap about anti-protests and the unions anti being on the anti-protest side didn't materialize at all like I, I knew all along now the union memberships might be for it but what matters is is the union members for it and by the looks of it, not. To this? Yeah. I'm just, on Facebook. You're not on Facebook? No. I should be able to find it. I'll give you my phone number. I'll, I'll send you the link. Okay. Okay. I know, but, but that's your, your grandmother's page. Uh, and I'll send it to you once you. Well, it's live, so it's 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 uploaded now. There is only two genders exactly. when you're born. That's right, Jesse. And now somehow a little frail line. And some of our politicians comes up and says, I think we can change this. And it blows my mind. You should say I'm making what? It's unrealistic and it's yeah. unheard of. Yeah. Yeah. And it's oh, yeah. not going to stand by God. So yeah. my phone number is 867 so anybody watching that wants my phone number, it's 8675309. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Leo. 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 What's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Yeah, I, I was at that uh, Sarducci's Pizza opening too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, for the 420? I was right in front of the flag. Yeah. The, the, now that was freedom at its best, that eh? That was. I think he messed it up, though. I know he messed it up. Not yeah, think. he made the big guys produce good right. money for that. That's it. Took out the little guys. The little guys. I'm wondering if he went out. Who? I'm wondering, Rick, if... I wonder if Rick's okay. out. Oh, maybe. Adam. maybe. I wouldn't see why not. Of course they are. Of course they are. They want to make some money today. Who's that? CTV News is over there now. We're going to go interview CTV. Not everyone has your child's best interest at heart. No, no, I'm going to interview Bob Belichico. How are you, Bob? No, listen, I'm not, believe me, I'm pretty neutral. Like I said, I got couple nephews that are gay full-on gay and i love them okay and i love them right it's a 
people just don't want it taught in schools, and I get it. Okay. It's up to the parents. I don't know how. It, when I when. Can I put you on camera? See, I'm going to ask you. Okay, now. No, I hear what you're saying. I, I came up in a, in a in a pretty homophobic family myself, right, where my dad was... You know, my dad was a man, my mother was a woman, and if any of my brothers came out and said they were gay, I don't know what would happen. My dad was probably would have punched them out, right? I get it, okay? Like I said, I got nephews that came out, they're gay. There's nothing happened to them. They were actually pretty uh, hesitant on coming out because of their uncles, right? You got a bunch of uncles that are... I'm not homophobic by any means. I love my, my nephews to death, okay? And there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. All people don't want to taught in schools. I think it, the teachers are not psychologists. I think the right. Yeah. I no, I, I think I I think they're trying to teach it in the Muslim schools, okay? In in if you look at the Quran, okay, they, it's deep in religion. I asked my son today on uh, as I drove him to to school. He said, You wanna to go to school today? Yeah. He says, Why? What's going on with the protests? I told him he said, Well, it should be up to the parents. Now we're in it. Right. Yeah, no, no, I get, I get it. I, I'm glad I'm getting both sides of this, right? I don't want to come off and because I'm doing the, uh, some multimedia stuff here, right? So because everybody was told that there's going to be an anti-protest uh, and there's going to be violence and all kinds of stuff. Right. Say words of love, not hate. You know, don't, we're not to interact with them in a beautiful manner. Right. Anybody out there that wants to put their hands on our children, we say, leave our children alone. Right? And they're out there. Let's keep on standing. Let's not make this a one-time stand. But go from here and have that right. determination right. that you want to know. They would turn their back on them? Yeah. I don't believe it. Well, times, times have really changed since the... Uh, the 70s and the 80s for, for the gay community, that's a fact, okay? And a lot of people think that it's, uh, yeah, that it's taking a step back now from the uh, the bathhouse beatings in Toronto and New York City and stuff, right? Is, is this guy on your, is, people think this guy's on your side. No, 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 he's here screaming and he's gay. he's gay. Yeah, he came out 100%. He came out and said he was gay. No, he's here just... Some people on that side think he's an instigator for this side. Like, he, he's going to try and... He's going to try and start something. 
Hey? What's this guy's name? Do you know? I don't know. Hey. Can I get you on film? Now, this guy behind you that's instigating, obviously, right? He came out, said he was he's gay. But it looks like he's trying to start something with you guys. Yeah. There's a lot of people on that side think he's an instigator, right? Trying to... <laughs> Right. That's what makes Canada free and, and great to express your opinions and your beliefs, right? Right. Yeah, I'm trying to stay in the middle of it. Right, really, I am. Yeah, I don't want to see anybody get hurt, period. Um, anti violent today. Times have changed. Thank you for that. Hi, Bob Bellachico. CTV. Man, we weren't yelling at each other. We were having. You got to get an interview with this guy here. He came out. He's gay. He's gay. He came out and said he's gay. But he's instigating over here, so we don't know if he's an instigator. We don't know what's going on. Get the scoop, Bob. Well, we being on the fence earlier when I got here, so I, have, I don't know where he, Talk where about. he stands. Hey, yeah. Do you remember Rick Walker? You love Rick Walker? Say 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 you love Rick Walker. Rick Walker, what's up? There you go. Rick Walker's a good friend of mine. Legend. He's a legend. I love him. I watch him nightly. Yeah, oh yeah. I love Rick. You do? Oh yeah. Rick's good people. You ever seen his uh, media show, multimedia? The well I remember Maverick. Is he still doing the uh, the, the car show? He's doing the car show, yeah. but he's got the Maverick Multimedia, oh, and it's this. blowing up on Rumble and YouTube and really? Facebook. Yeah. Send me a link. I will. You got my I will, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Cool. All right, man. Stay safe. You too. So that's Bob Bellachico from CTV. We go back. We go way back. And Rick Walker, he says he loves you. Everybody loves Rick. So this is a great turnout today for Windsor, Ontario. It's non-violent. Look at this guy. How are you, buddy? Good, long time no see. How are you? Good, you? So what do you think of this? It's powerful. It's powerful. It's a movement. It's a movement. How the girls? Say hello to my daughters. Canada, there you go. Brie, <laughs> and Allie. <laughs> and, Allie. and little Leo. And Leo. How's your mom doing? She's good. good. How's your wife? She's good. Shelly's great. That's good. Feed, you... She's feeding me lots by the looks of it. So what side are you on? This side. You're on this side? Yeah. The trans transgenders. That's their counter protest. Yeah, what do you think of that? They're trying to cause conflict. There's a guy over there that came out that's on this side that's gay. Yeah. Right? And he's he's telling them to fucking beat it, right? Yeah. More or less. Look, there's like absolutely no problem with like being gay and all that. But it's like if you're like enforcing it on other people, let alone children, like there's gotta be some boundaries, you know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. You know what? I got a couple nephews that are gay, and I love them to death. I stated that 20 times already today. Uh, you know, leave it out in the schools. If teachers are not psychologists, right? And far from it. So leave it out of the school. Because like the government doesn't like parent your children. Your teachers don't parent your children. So it's like leave them alone. You know. Good job, Leo. Keep it up. I got Bob Bellachico, eh? And then, like, people, and then you got people. Work our way through. Did you want to park back there, your bike back there? <laughs> oh, and Leo, another thing. It's like, they were saying, like, this is like an anti LGBTQ movement. That is far from the case. That's like, why. Thank you. you like, Let's go park it on the street. Coming and through. The who's not parents are children. And that's a fact. Right. So, uh, and, that, and that's literally what it is, really. And children should be innocent and they should stay innocent. If they're all in about them, that's on their own. And that's not, it's not something that should be possible. Exactly. Exactly. 
you know, I like I said, I've been to gay pride parties, uh, parades actually, Vancouver, Toronto, Windsor. Okay, it's set. I think it's dividing, and a lot of people are. It dividing. It's dividing, right? And that's what the government really wants. It is dividing, and it's not just like the division on this, like but on so many other matters, like anti-mask, pro-mask, black, white. You know, there's so many other things. Like it's point. It's like black and white or red, and it's like the job has been shook. They should be going after the people who shook the job, not. Jason. Right. That's all it is. Well, they, they, they're going to call us racist, misogynist, expialidocious. Okay? We're not buying it. I see races of all kinds down here. And same thing with the freedom movement okay, uh, in the convoy in Ottawa. I even see Santa Claus here, for Christ's sakes. Hi, Santa. You're a little early today. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I found Waldo, but not common sense. <laughs> Where's the big fella? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I bumped into you. How are you? I'm okay. So what do you think of this? I think it's great that the kids are getting protected. Somebody needs to know about it so they can stand up for it. Now, I heard a lot of conflicting stuff that there was going to be violence and anti-movements, uh, uh, right? Scare tactics, the unions. Now, the, the unions, uh, like I stated before, the unions administration might be on the wrong side, but the membership sure ain't because where are they? I don't see any. Oh, shoot. Uh, I know somebody on here, Ron Renu. What's up, Ron Renu? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I get the point, and I don't see any anti-movement here. And I knew that last night. I knew that last week, right, when they said they are going to have the protests. And I heard, oh, there's going to be... Even the anti-protesters have children, so why wouldn't they want to protect them? Either don't show up or show up on the right side. Well, I got both sides, okay, and I just interviewed a lady on that side, right? Uh, and I sort of get what she's saying, right? But teachers are not psychologists, okay, and it should not be taught in schools. Now, I get it. A lot of kids might be uh, uh, hesitant on coming out to their parents because their parents might be homophobic, right, uh, and shun the kids, this and that. And we're in an era, hopefully we're not in an era where that still exists, like the 70s, 80s, okay, and, and the 90s. I have nothing against anybody. I right. gave children to a mother and a father. When a mother and a father are ready to have a child, that's when they have it. That did not give the child to any of the children in the The parents have that right to make those decisions. Right. I think it's... And if they're good parents, they'll let the child be who the child wants to be. Bingo. Bingo, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, if any of my kids came out and said, oh, they, they swing that way, I wouldn't love them any less. No, I have no children of my own, but I've raised like 150 kids on and off over the last 40 years. Oh, you sound like me. So, a lot of them are... Uh, uh, are some are lesbian. Right. They come in the point of having a child. Or for is the diversity in the child. The child can make that decision. And they get to experiment up to a certain age and then they make a final decision who they want to be as an adult. Right. But as a child, let them ask questions. Don't change them for them. Let them Exactly. Exactly. You are who you are. Okay. Okay. Live and let live is what I say. Keep it out of schools. It's simple. Now the backlash is on Trudeau because a lot of these uh, uh, different communities were on his side uh, a year ago. That's changed. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks for coming, eh?
Wow. It's getting bigger. And that's all they want. That's all we want. Leave the kids alone. Hey, what's going on? What do you got for me? Giving out money? Free parking? What a great turnout. I knew it would be big, and it's like this all. Kitchener right now is 10 times the size of this. So I could see what Toronto, Ottawa looks like. No, this is the place to be. This is a place to be. I love that shirt. You playing for those guys? You did the one year. What are you playing? What 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 position? Volleyball. You need to get into football, right? Right. How old are you? Eleven. Oh, you're just like you're like my son, man. You big kid, man. Yeah. <laughs> we we well. Oh yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> We, we, well, me too. <laughs> I'm Leo. Dwayne. Dwayne, please meet you. Chad? See the hat? Make Canada great again, baby. This is my buddy Abdullah. Abdullah, please meet you. What a great turnout, eh? It should be. It should be this big and bigger. To be well, honest with you. It's going on all over the country, right? right. Not no, just I here. Understand, so if you take, need, you take it as a whole... Vancouver, yeah. Toronto, Kitchener. I just seen a video out of Kitchener. It's monstrous in Kitchener. No, Toronto, not, Ottawa. Uh, I'm so happy you know you're on church. And, like, and the key so thing is, Abdul, is right it's peaceful. Were you, like, were you the, and the government said it wouldn't be. The government said oh, there'll yeah, be yeah, anti-protesters yeah, yeah. and blood in the streets, the border, so I gotta watch which was a lie. No, yeah. so I got a. Uh, Seven hundred dollars in fines for oh, oh, Okay. Are you voting liberal? No. No. See, he's lost a lot of support here. I'll tell you. Yeah, for him. <laughs> we aren't gonna get out of this by politics. We're gonna get out of this by people. Exactly. We need people, not politics. That's right. I'm right. And when you can't afford food, okay, with the cost of living and, and housing and everything else. Okay, and I was preaching this uh, two years ago, actually, down at the bridge with the convoy that the price of inflation is going to be so high in the next couple years, and I was spot on. Now look at what we have. We have no housing. People cannot afford to eat. Yeah. It's time for the government to move on. Yeah. It's time for the people to stand up. And it's only going to get bigger and badder as we go here because I hear there's a protest on the 22nd, another one on the 4th. Protest for what? Check out my Facebook. You'll find out. I literally just followed you. Like, add me. I, I thought you were on there. No. And, but yeah, I just kind of like followed you like on your page, but then just... Hey! Like, hey. What's going on? You guys staying out of trouble? Always? Yeah. What do you think of this turnout? I think so too. So, the anti-protesters are over here, and you know what? Everything's being pretty calm. I did get an interview from somebody over there, and I kind of see, but we're we're a little bit off. Keep it out of school. Her reasons were for homophobic parents. Your yeah, kids come out of the closet, and I get it. There's a lot of people. I don't care what religion you are. There's a lot of people that would be shunned by their families, right? Yeah. We're still living in that era. Yeah. But that's when a psychologist comes in, not some, uh, yeah, not a teacher. Yeah. Where did we ever get from arithmetic, English, geography, history to this? That's the problem. The books. Are they giving away credits at, at high, in, in high school for? I don't know. 
great turnout, though, eh? Great turnout. But the psychological damage it does for a kid to see that kind of stuff in the book. Like, first came out, told the price, like, I'm not all sure right, I don't care. Right, right. Right, right. 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 If, if we showed them heterose yeah, heterosexual sex, you'd be, uh, you'd be, what would we call, ousted? Right, 100. percent It's not. But like I'll continue to say, and I'll say it. It'd be like called that. pornography. It sure would. That's damaging. As soon as they see yeah. it, that's it. That's, that's right. Psychological. Leave my kids out of it. Leave me the fuck. I don't care. So things are starting to heat up over here a bit. Hey, hey. And you don't see. Yeah, I'm trying to keep you from the But they're lined up here to start with them. I can stop them. Wow. So you caught a little bit of that. Uh, that's not that's not that's not a matter of your choice. Uh, that's not a matter of your choice. I was even trying to defend you earlier, Great. So it's not your choice whether it's no choice whether or not I can I can videotape in public. If you don't, that's exactly what you do. You walk away. I can videotape anything I can see in public, whether you like it or not. And it's people like you that stir shit up and cause problems when you, you could just fucking you do your thing. Well, I don't want to. Okay, you no, do your no, thing. No, 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 and I just want to film it. <laughs> Tell me I can't film them. Awesome. And that's the truth. So things are heating up a little bit, eh? No. What's going on? That's Bob Bellachico. That's Mr. Oh, Bob. Say hello to Rick Walker. Rick Walker's watching. One of your biggest fans, Rick. One, one of the best uh, sports uh, broadcasters in this area. Yeah, until you twist the narrative. No, win or lose. Oh, 
<laughs> so a lot of mistrust for Main Street Media. Look at this big fella. How are you, brother? You're a little late for the show, or have you been here? Oh, have you? How can I miss him? He's 10 feet tall. <laughs> Do you have lights? Later. What's going on over here? Uh, things are starting to heat up a little bit. They're bringing the kids to the front front of the line, which is not right. No. Right. Don't don't use the kids in that manner. Right. And they know nothing's going to happen to them. Exactly. Well, this has been uh, a very, very nice turnout, and people are still coming. Do you know what time it runs till? Oh, I don't know. I know we're marching at 11. Marching at 11? I may have to march out here at 11. Family obligations. So we're that's what we're saying. No, you have some people who are very emotional. And we would like to have a more civil discourse. So we got Windsor Police on bicycles. Not horseback. And people are still coming down here. So you got you kids are all out of school today. No school today. The police are coming in now. So here we go. My brother, thanks for coming. Thank you. Don't let any any government or any person tell you how to. Don't let them teach your kids what's right and what's wrong. That's up to you, the parents. So I did get both sides of the story. That's what I wanted to come down here for. Plus, to protect the kids. You know, I don't have any kids that are in grade school. My son goes to a high school now. They're not teaching any of this stuff in the high school yet, where he's at. But my grandkids someday, my grandkids, is what we have to worry about. Oh, 
حرام ما السلام عليكم Yeah. 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 I was facing like this. Can I see your sign? I'm with you. Hey, can I see your sign? I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> what school do you go to? Queen Victoria, that's where my kids went. All three of them. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're all done now. High school. Awesome. And I see a familiar face here, Mr. Justin Schneider. Can you record me, please? Yeah, I can record you. What school do you go to, son? Kennedy, my kids went to Kennedy. What grade are you in? Grade nine? Yeah, all my kids went to Kennedy. And, and what are the two genders? This is true. No, hey, what grade school did you guys go to, Victoria? See, my kids went to Victoria too. Uh, I came to awesome, thank you. <laughs> so police are here. And we got Mr. Justin Schneider. I heard you got a job with the uh, iron workers. You start Friday? Yep, start Friday. I'm on afternoon. Very excited. Congratulations. Can't wait to be uh, with the brotherhood. Yeah, it's where the money is. That's where it is. Pay pension too. That's right. How old are you? I just turned 40 in August. You're still young enough to get that pension. Me, I'm too old. <laughs> so it's filling up down here at the riverfront, and you got the day off of school too, eh? All right. What school? Ollie is Victoria and Kennedy, eh? All right. You guys will be in good hands. Just li listen to your teachers on some things. Arithmetic, math, history, geography, and auto mechanics. <laughs> I don't listen. This guy should be on this side over here. What side are you on? You'll snap my phone, I'll break your jaw. How's that sound? Yeah? Touch my fucking phone, bud. Touch it. I did. All right, let's see you smash it. You'll be on. I don't give a fuck what your fucking shirt says. Yeah, my ass. Hey? Where's some fucking respect? Because you know what? I'd wave your fucking ass all over this place. Break my fucking phone, motherfucker. 
You threatening me? I said, break my phone, guys, motherfucker. Guys, why don't we make a space? Threaten me make again. Space. Touch my fucking guys, phone. Guys, guys, come on. Space, please. Get on your make fucking make side. Space. You're telling him not to push you? Guys, make space. I am on my side. Why do you need space, please? I'll be a mean to you. You're a fucking Some, punk. Dude, How's that sound? Threw a water bottle on my dog. What would you do? Why don't you just look at me and say, stop filming or I'm going to break your fucking phone. You touch my phone, I'll break your fucking jaw in front of these guys. You want my fucking house number two? You have no fucking idea what I could do to you. Get the fuck out of my fucking face. How's that sound? Anybody want to take some bets? We're in a gambling town right now. Who's going to win? The Detroit Golden Glove champion or this fucking bozo? You want a box? Guys, I'm going to suggest that you're both not worth it. So if we could just peacefully walk away. Ah, uh, hey. That's right. <laughs> Fucking bozo. No, I'm, not, I'm on this side. With you guys. Fucking shit disturber. Touch my phone. I'm going to break your phone. I'll break your fucking jaw in front of the police. I don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. We'll break your neck. We're fine. Just walk away, Leo. Just walk away. They don't even know that teachers are told to like give people pamphlets instead of like just like telling the parents. And they have no clue. Yeah. No, I know. It's 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 ridiculous. And you got an instigator on this side telling me if I stop filming him, he's gonna break my phone. I'm like, I'll break your fucking jaw. Touch my fucking phone, bitch. It's already broke anyways. <laughs> See that place right there? I'm going to light it up in Detroit. That's where I won the Detroit Golden Gloves in 1988. Okay. And in 1989, I was the runner-up. And that guy wants to touch my phone. I'd break his fucking jaw. Some people make my blood boil. Hey, look at So this place here in Detroit is where I won the Detroit Golden Gloves for fighting. Okay, I was the youngest guy in Canadian history on his 17th birthday to win the Detroit Golden Gloves. And that guy wants to break my phone, so I break his fucking jaw. How's that sound? Did you read his shirt, Leo? Yeah, I read his shirt. He should be standing on that side instead of causing shit on this side. The police should be fucking moving him back over there. <laughs> How did it all start? You, guys are, you see, he threw a bottle of water or something, and he turned around and don't film me. Before yeah, like, well, he tells me, don't. Yeah, did, I got, did he know, say that to you, too? Damn, I got a video of you there with the cops there anyways. I'll send it to you. Fuck. Learn That's some fucking story. respect. You're just standing there with videoing. That's right. I can videotape anybody I want. I'm a little concerned about that guy that's been standing there all this time with the green shirt. Yeah. He's on the other side. He's going to start shit. He wants to start shit. And who knows about this guy? These kids got to keep it cool. That's the thing. You gotta keep it cool because his family keeps it over. Yeah. So they're getting closer. Getting really close now. I wish he would have fucking grabbed my phone. You would have got it on Facebook Live. A thumping.
100%. Couldn't agree with you more. 100%. So if you're just catching, jumping on now, this one's going to be funny to watch later. I'm filming and some guy says, don't film me or I'll break your phone. <laughs> oh, really? My blood is boiling. My blood is boiling. Love of the South. Just tune it in now. You guys been here since nine? No, we got here about ten minutes ago. Nice crowd, eh? Oh, great. We come up here when we'll should be and get the spot. We did. There's always only a few angry people I see on the road. Just a couple. The guy told me to stop filming or he's going to bust my phone. I said, I'll break your fucking jaw. Who said that? One of those guys over there. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Should have gave him a pronoun. Oh, I did. Fuck you. That was the pronoun. You guys don't have a light, do you? My blood is boiling. You got the mouth of the south here and his blood is boiling. Oh, you think that's funny? I can't even read half these messages on here. It's the way the sun is. Stay safe. Thank you. They couldn't be bought all the way. They came here, but you're not going to be bought to sell their kids. No? Go video that guy again. Let's try and find him.
Hey, cops. If you, if you missed it. You don't want none. You don't want none. Should I dox them? <laughs> there you go, Derek. You don't want to play. Exactly. Don't provoke, keep the peace. Now, there's a nice shirt. How you making out, brother? I support that shirt all day long. That I do, my friend. You know that. <laughs> the real people. Just to give you guys a bird's eye view here, I, I'm going to get up here and show you guys. Ah, it's jammed. Even on the roadway, Riverside Drive. So some mainstream media will tell you there's only 10 or 20 people here. There's 20 people that are anti-protesters that are here to try and start shit. I call them Antifa. And one of them came up to me as I was filming and said, don't you film me or I'll break your phone. And he got right in my face. I said, I'll break your fucking face wide open. The, f the police are standing right there. I don't give a fuck. Really, I don't. You touch my shit. You touch me. I am breaking your face. I don't care who's watching. We got the freedom horns out here, too. Wake up, Justin Trudeau. And resign. Simple. Apologies not accepted.
people are still coming in. I'm going to be bailing soon. Yeah, I know. You're leaving at 11, eh? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I haven't got received the text yet. You and Brian all right? Getting all right? Oh, yeah. Right? He's got to work. Oh, you got to work? I'm gonna stop in the bubbies and see you. I'll stop in the bubbies and see you sometime. You're the kitchen manager, eh? Are you hired? Co-op. Free. No, I know, but I just went to co-op with Mackenzie. Oh, was it? Put little Leo in there. They gave him a co-op down at the at the mission, and I don't want my kid working at the mission. I, I don't know. We got some instigators on this side now, right? Trying to start shit. Hey, Ren! They don't even know what these colors mean. Can't even hear me. So this is going on in every city in Canada right now, even in the town of Chatham, London, Kitchener, Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, even in the United States, even in Michigan. So over the whole, there'll be over a million people. I don't know where. 
don't know. Marching, I heard they're marching to the bridge to shut it down. That's what I hear. I don't know. So the rainbow's on this side too, folks. This is not anti-gay protest at all. The person speaking right now is gay. Every, every religion is down here. This has nothing to do with religion. It's not a political debate, and it's not about human rights. It's a nice day for jet skiing. Now these monuments here serve from different conflicts and these were the true freedom fighters and they're probably rolling in their grave today to see what Canada has become. Not probably. This war here had a lot of death. Every war has death. Even the Cold War had death. The Second World War was the longest. 2,075 days. We lost a lot of good people. In the air, on the land, and in the sea. And then we had this one, Afghanistan. And in the end, what was it really for? My brother was there twice. And they fought for our freedoms. And look how far we've come since the end of this one, 2014. Sad times.